My name is Carlotta from Team Draw.io, and today I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to optimize your flowcharts. Flowcharts are extremely helpful when you and your team are working on a process from start to finish together. They are the fundamental piece of visual communication. Let's start by opening Draw.io in your Confluence page. In the menu, you can already see a flowchart template. On the left-hand side, you have a wider variety of flowchart templates to choose from. Today, we will be using a flowchart diagram I have made ahead of time. For demonstration purposes, I created a flowchart about the process of recruiting a new team member, from defining the selection criteria to hiring an applicant. Now let's talk about some points to keep in mind while creating your flowchart. My first tip is to design your flowchart with a clear path in mind. This helps others, especially people who aren't familiar with the issue, to easily follow your process. As you can see on this flowchart, it is easy to find the start and follow the points from there all the way to the end. The second tip is to keep things consistent with the help of colors, case shapes, connector lines, and spacing. This helps everyone understand your flowchart better and makes it look cohesive. In this flowchart, you can see that the colors are random and will only confuse you and your team. By clicking on a shape, you can use the menu on the right-hand side to easily change the color. Now the colors make sense. The start and end point match to convey a clear beginning and end. Every task that the team takes part in is yellow. Questions are orange and actions that the candidate takes are green. Let's move on to the third tip. Think logically. Every procedure has a clear structure and sequence of tasks. Make sure you visualize that structure by not crossing lines or making the reader go back and forth. This flowchart has a clear line from start to finish. My fourth tip is to make sure your flowchart fits on one page and everything remains readable. If the chart is too big, think about simplifying your steps or breaking them into multiple flowcharts. A flowchart is supposed to give you and your team an overview of a project and its steps. If you can't see it all in one glance, understanding the broader picture will be much harder. The flowchart you can see here has all of the right steps, but it is hard to see them all while also being able to read the words. This brings us to our fifth and final tip. Think about the consistent flow of your flowchart. This makes it easier to read and understand your chart. The only difference between these two flowcharts is the organization. I didn't modify any of the steps in the procedure. I only switched up the layout. This simple change makes a huge difference in the visualization. I hope you're able to use these tips to build your own well-structured flowchart in no time. Thank you for following along and come again next week to learn another tip or trick on how to make your diagrams even better.